Hey guys, Spain here. This is another video log from me, just uh, saying hello again, uh, letting you know that uh, I'm still around. Uh, been a couple of days since I released a video. Released Frawl's Revenge today, just to try and um, get catch up on that. I know you guys were asking for it. Um, again, sorry I've not released much. Uh, been a pretty crazy time for me. I, unfortunately, um, one of my good friends uh, passed away recently, so I've been uh, uh, coming to terms with that and uh i've been busy at work as well so it's been pretty tiring uh, taking its toll on me um and it was a sudden sudden death wasn't expected so uh yeah it's, it's always hard when stuff like that happens um and yeah i've just been I've, i have done some recording i've been working mainly on my space engineers bits and pieces i'm trying to really work hard on crafting something unique there um so there's a lot of like graphics editing and bits and pieces and video editing I need to do on that um, series because it's only a small series but hopefully we'll see if you guys like it um, Hearts of Iron 4 I've been playing a bit and learning and also just for my own sake really what I've been playing when I'm not recording videos I've been playing Divinity uh, again with uh, with Draconis uh, my friend Rick um, just because uh, I never really got to play it all the way through and it's a really good co-op RPG so I really wanted to play it's quite funny uh, so I've been spending a lot of time playing that uh, when I have had free moment to to enjoy myself. Um, I've got a friend shop just recently opened up as well that I've been spending some time at, which is like a, it does Magic the Gathering and Warhammer and all that stuff. So um, and um, yeah, so I've, I've I've not done too many videos, but I have recorded more frauds. I've recorded obviously the entire GLA campaign now for Command and Conquer. So you see that over the coming days. Uh, no comment finished. Uh, uh, you know, I'm hoping you guys can give me some feedback on the no comment series. Uh, I didn't get much on my last video, so uh, if you guys can leave me some feedback, um, that'd be great. Just to see if I'm making the right kind of videos for you guys. Um, you know, Gold Gold kind of just like flows and flows and does his own bits, but I, I'm like one of those people that just like to kind of. Um, get some feedback from you guys really make sure that that, that that we're making the videos that you guys want to see um and it's not easy to please everybody obviously we, we do try but uh I, i've heard the call that you want some more armada soon so i'm gearing myself up for um some new armada videos especially showcasing uh the final frontier which i've been doing loads of bits and pieces on planet bonuses etc um so that's the stuff that's coming up um, I'm also, as I said, we'll get this Hearts of Iron down. I've been playing with uh, Zomi a lot, um, and uh, Enforce Six Eight. I plan to play with as well, and try and get a series recorded on that. And also, I've been sending a lot of mails actually to ask other modders if they'd like consider coming on the channel for a live stream. Uh, I think the Corey one went really, really well, and we're really glad that we managed to get that recorded and. You know, it was good. Um, it was a good, uh, good, good recording. So, so yeah, just working on stuff like that, really. Um, obviously, uh, as I said, my friend passed away um, not that long ago. It's about a week ago now, and uh, he was in the Warhammer community. He was one of my commission painters, uh, but I, I knew him quite well. Anyway, he used to be a manager at um, a GW store as well. So, so he was a really good guy, and. Um, yeah, I I I, uh, I said that quite hard, but he I, I saw him a week before he passed, and uh, he left me uh, with a really nice model that I'd, I'd asked him to do as a commission piece, um, and it's uh, unique. It's one of its kind. Uh, there is no other model like it. Um, it's based on a conversion of a four-drilled model called the Kaitan Demon Engine. And uh, I've got three of them because I wanted to triumvirate uh, of, of these. So uh, I've got um, three all painted by my friend who passed, uh, God rest his soul, uh, which I said I will show you some models. Um, and if you want to see more of my models, then you know, leave a reply of this. But I'll show you the ones he's done. For those that are not interested, I'm sorry, it's all about models this next bit. But this is the stock Kaitan all built. So you might have seen these. Um, around if you're into Warhammer I'm gonna try and get the camera to focus the camera is not so good at focusing on this stuff uh, you can see his axe is covered in blood uh, it's really cool um, and he's got his very cornate helmet corn being one of the chaos gods uh, again if you watch Battlefield Gothic I, I, talk, I don't really take corn that much but he's, he's pretty cool corn is all about skulls and and blood 
Uh, corn does not care from where the blood flows, as long as the blood flows. And skulls for the skull throne and all that stuff. Um, he's got a really cool Gatling cannon on this arm here, and you can see skulls everywhere. So he's kind of like kind of skulls. This one, he customised the base for me, and he's he's actually standing on a, a, a Dark Angel Dreadnought, um, which if you can't really see it, um, but it's actually loads of blood and guts coming out of the Dreadnought as well, so it's kind of cool, kind of gross. Uh, and then he's got a really nice uh, power pack around the back so it's pretty cool pretty cool um then i wasn't happy with that so i thought i need to copy more of the serastus knights because serastus are really good imperial uh, knights that you can get from forge world again uh, so i had him design i'm just going to try and pin his arm back in because his arm's falling out um this guy which is my version of a lancer um he's got a big corn dozer blade that i stuck together twice and gave to chris to make this a shield and you can see these are all skulls in here. So they're just full of skulls and blinding heat. Um, and then uh, the other part of it is this lance weapon here. So he's got this really cool, I don't know if it's going to focus, might not focus, uh, lance weapon, which um, basically is a decimated siege claw um, and loads of other bits stuck together uh, to kind of make that, that work. Um, and uh, a pen lid on the end which makes really cool pens are really good for adding bits like weapons and stuff so uh yeah he's really cool and again he's on really nice sort of uh, trying to hit rubbly terrain as well so that's all pretty made so he's pretty cool same kind of power pack at the back um so that's my lancer and then my final one that i had of the three which is my favorite i think actually it was the last one i collected i only collected him a week before he passed and i was having a cup of tea with him talking to him about it but this is my um, Serastus Knight Kaitan Acheron, uh, which has a gigantic, and I mean gigantic, flamer. Like the template is like way, way big, massive. It covers like 20 models. Um, so he's got this gigantic flamer, um, and uh, he's got a really nice backpack, as you can see here. I don't know if you can see that really well, but it's kind of got like souls in it. Uh, I don't think the camera is going to focus. Uh, he's got this long pipe that comes into his weapon. So that's really nice. And then the other part, he has this chain fist here. You can see it. And he's even done the glow on the, the, like, the scenery as well. Um, and it actually has like really big guns built in as well. So it's quite a nice model. Uh, so I'm really thankful to my good friend Chris. Uh, may he rest in peace. Uh, he went too soon. Uh, died of a heart attack, unfortunately. But... Um, he was a really good guy, and um, you know, um, you know, I'm thankful for all the, all the work he did for me as well. Um, anyway, you guys want to hear me mope all day on my video log? Just know that I've got some cool videos coming up for you. Leave me some feedback and comments as well, and uh, I'll catch you all soon in the video. This is Bane, as always, signing out.